Hmm. Okay, it says we're live. So I want to have a conversation about something that's so important that many people skip over because, you know, in the beginning stages, and when I say beginning, I don't necessarily mean the number of years you've been in business. I mean at the level that you are, at the growth stage that you are in your business. Many people at the beginning stage just kind of skip this. And skipping this important part, which is identifying who your perfect people are, is some of the frustration that people have in, biz in building their business. It's some of what makes what they do take so much longer than it has to in order to do it, which is you know to financially grow the business and help more people. So I want to share some reasons why identifying, knowing who your perfect people are is important. I know many people think that whatever it is they do is for anybody but if you are taking that approach to your business the chances are very likely that you are not extremely happy with the customers that you're servicing um, if you've considered raising your prices you fear that because the ones you have already seem to be uncomfortable with paying at the level that they're already on and you just know that um, maybe trying to redefine who you are servicing or approaching as it relates to your business can seem a little scary but it's one of the best things that you could ever do for the expansion and growth of your business now your perfect people can change um, I'll use my, myself for and as an example when I first brought my business my coaching and consulting business online I spoke to a certain person or people and as time grew and my business began to evolve my perfect people changed so the same people that I worked with before were not necessarily the people who were an ideal fit for some of the programs and offers that I offered long term now I will say this and I'm so grateful because I use the perfect people framework, a lot of the people that I worked with in the beginning still work with me today. So maybe around 2017, 2018, I began offering courses and I think my mastermind started in 2018-ish. And some of those people still work with me today, like in 2023. And um, you're gonna hear when I tell you why it's important for you to identify who your perfect people are, you're going to hear why those people who started out with me were still an ideal fit as my business began to grow and evolve. So one of the number one reasons that it's important for you to identify who your perfect people are, and let me do a step back just a little bit. So your perfect people in the business arena would be a step above your ideal client, right? So in the business world, the term ideal client is probably a term that you're more familiar with. But I created a framework that goes a step beyond, slightly deeper than them just being your ideal client. It's a framework I walk my clients through in order to identify their people. It's one of the reasons why my clients are able to 3X their business or they may go from $3,000 months to a 16K month because we are identifying their perfect people. I was actually on a call with one of my clients recently and I mean it was actually just a regular conversation. She's completed a program with me some months ago and I just checked back in on um, my clients and in conversation I shared one thing. It shifted everything for her because we identify a level of growth for her and you know her perfect people is even more defined at this stage of evolution in her business makes a complete difference it shifted everything for her okay so number one when you understand who your perfect people are it minimizes your marketing efforts so if you feel like you got to be on every set and you're doing all the things and it's not working when you identify your perfect people it will begin to minimize how much marketing you have to do. 
and the level of difficulty you will feel in doing it because you're going to be speaking to your perfect people and your perfect people are people who have identified that you have what it is that they need you have the solution to their problem and there is an amazing alignment in those people and your particular brand number two um your perfect people get the best results your listen i'm telling you guys your perfect people get the best results. How many of you know that you may service a client or um, enroll a client, whether you're a service-based business owner providing a service or you're a coach, and they don't do it. They don't get the work done. They don't get any results. And yes, you got the exchange for the money, but you didn't get the fulfillment. You didn't get the maximized opportunity that comes with your perfect people because when your perfect people get results, you now have testimonials, right? So some of you all, it's not necessarily because your offer is um, what you're offering or what you've created or your level of expertise is not where it needs to be. You're trying to sell it to the wrong people. You're talking to the wrong people, right? Um, so they get the best results, which is a two, three, four fold um, blessing for you in your business. Um, that means they refer more people as well. So when they get great results, they talk about you. I have two clients that come to mind when I, as I mentioned this, one mentioned me to another client and the other client signed up as well. And they've both been working with me. Uh, the last time was maybe like March of this year when they ended a program since 2017. Right, so they also refer other people without you even asking for a referral. It's automatic conversation because you're talking about the amazing results that they had with you because they are your perfect people, meaning you understand who you are as a brand, you understand the problem that you solve and exactly who you solve it for. When you get clear on that, so much in your business process shifts. Um, now, the next thing is your perfect people are normally connected to even more of your perfect people. So this here, when we talked about minimizing your marketing, it minimizes your marketing because they've already got a pool of people who are very, very similar to themselves or who they know who have the same problems that they had to refer you to or refer to you, right? And so um that's what number two i said they minimize your marketing efforts and they get the best results those other things were under you know what happens when they get the best results number three um they allow you to master your skill set you all don't hear me when you're working with your perfect people you've identified this is a problem this is the people every single time i teach every single time i coach every single time i train i get better and better and better at this zone of genius this my superpowers they're cultivated they grow and at, at an expansive rate which means that I offer an even more valuable service to everyone who comes um, after the last person that I've served including the last person that I serve right so you get an opportunity to master your skill set and this is what shifts and changes for you in the marketplace as it relates to your money all of the things so in the normalcy of the world there are a lot of generalists so people will be under a certain heading so they may be a chiropractic or a realtor or a wellness coach or life coach uh, they may own a cleaning business they may be a strategist or an esthetician massage therapist um, maybe they teach financial literacy right so we may have those categories but all of those are very general very general so when someone is looking for um, someone under those particular headings they're just looking for those headings but when you identify what people who need financial literacy what people who need cleaning services when you have used the perfect people framework to identify your perfect people you dial down on who it is that is most ideal for your services so I got certified in real estate back in 2001. I moved on with something else, never went, took the state exam. But I happened to also coach um, realtors and people who are in real estate and construction, things of that nature. And, and I believe that some of that is me being an energetic match for it 
kind of talked about being an energetic match on an earlier broadcast. So I was watching and I, I'm interested in land and things like that as well. So I'm watching a realtor the other day tell his story who's a multi, multi, multi million dollar realtor. Um, he lists hundred million dollar properties, all the things. But as he tells his story, like how he started and how he got into it, and he talked about how he was handing out his business card, he disclosed exactly who he was handing his business card out to when he started out. And I was like, did someone teach him the perfect people find work? Because he hit the nail on the head and was one of the reasons he had such explosive growth in a short amount of time because he wasn't throwing spaghetti on the wall. And so this perfect people framework works for um, numerous businesses because you're marketing to people, right? And the more you, the more defined you get, the more clear you are about who you're marketing to. It just eliminates some of the issues that you have if you are marketing to everybody, right? Um, next, and I want to say this, this should be one of the number one things, one of the number one activities you do when you start your business. It should be, but most people don't. Most people think that their particular skill set, like I'm a wellness coach, I can teach wellness to anybody, right? They think that their particular will, um, skill set, I'm a strategist, I'm a chiropractor, is for everyone, but it's not. And when you identify who you are as a brand and who your perfect people are, it shifts everything. So the next thing that understanding who your perfect people are does, it preserves your energy. Listen, when I'm working with my clients, my energy is through the roof. It's not a stretch for me to, um, to number one, identify what their problems are, give them an answer and they get results quickly. It takes a lot less energy. I'm not fighting people to like get it. And this is why, like even in my productive rest months, I go and dial down even more on my perfect people because I understand that sometimes there's one thing that changes about who I'm actually marketing to that will make a tremendous difference in them seeing that I'm the person who has whatever it is that they need that solves their problem or their desire, right? And so this is one of the activities that's super important. Most people don't do it. They just start, you know, marketing to anybody. So they may, you know, just hand out their business card to, to anybody, right? And what it's kind of like being on social media, making a post and just expecting whoever to find you. When you identify your perfect people, your marketing, it attracts the people, it pulls them in. There's something in the language that you're saying because you've identified who your perfect people are that calls them into you. You go more from a chasing mode to an attraction mode. Super important. You also build stronger, deeper relationships. Like if this is something that you have to do all the time, I don't think anything worse is worse than working with people who you aren't in alignment with. Like I could sit down and have lunch and dinner and I've actually um, stayed in hotel accommodations with my, my clients, right? And so, well, resort accommodations. Um, but it builds stronger, deeper relationships. This gives you an opportunity to serve them at an even higher level, right? Um, you can solve, this is the next one, the next reason why you gotta under, you gotta identify your perfect people. You gotta come to me and let me teach you how to identify your perfect people. You can solve long-term problems over time for your perfect people. When you know who your perfect people are, you're building those deeper relationships. When you're creating offers and products and services, you aren't just creating them off the top of your head. You understand that this is actually, this person is going to need this next. You, you already know what the next phase is that they're going to need because as the person who is um, servicing them, or if you're a coach and you're coaching or teaching or training them, most often times you should be, well, doesn't have to be, but you're attracting people who you have already stepped into some level of mastery or expertise 
as it relates to the journey that they're on or the problems that they have. Hope this makes sense. And that means long-term customers, right? It builds loyalty. Um, when you've identified them, you, you know, you will even know simple things to do for them if you're creating an experience, like if they have to come into your brick and mortar pit business, because you've identified your perfect people, there are things about the mood and um, the aesthetics and all of those things that you can create that will give them an even greater experience with your company, with your brand. When you've identified your perfect people, um, the net, and this one right here is huge. When you've identified your perfect people, you can stop wasting time. And this is important because there are many coaches who just want to throw in the towel, right? They are tired of marketing. It's not working. It's not converting. It's not connecting. The people that they have not paying, you know, all kinds of things, right? You can stop wasting time because there is something that happens emotionally when you feel like you're giving something a lot of effort and it's not doing necessarily what you want it to do or you want to evolve in your business you want to expand and grow and in your mind you're like these people ain't gonna come with me i i don't see a lot of them making the transition to where i'm wanting to evolve and so it creates a level of um, uncertainty because you're not speaking to your perfect people and then last but not least you become less competitive because you're actually in your own lane you're not so general you're seeing more on the lines of being um, a specialist there was one more thing that was on my mind and it, it dropped my thoughts if I come back and think about it later I will put it in the comments but this is why it's so important for you to work with your perfect people Right, especially when it's time for scaling, um, this is something you need to know, right? Because if you're scaling, uh, chances are likely that you're releasing some things. How do you know what to remove if you aren't clear? If you've had like a hodgepodge of offers or things on your service menu and you're wanting to remove things, but you haven't identified who your perfect people are you could remove something that was actually the thing that moves the needle or the next step of evolution for that perfect client that you're wanting to to serve or to service so i teach the perfect people framework in many of my long-term term, um, masterminds or um, also in my academy and i decided in the month of august i would open three spots and just offer VIP private sections. So you get to come work with me one-on-one -on -one to identify who your perfect people are. So I'm, I'm opening three, I've opened three spots. They're first come, first serve. When they're done, they're just done. But this is one of the most important activities you can learn to, to, to create in your business. Not only does your perfect people work for clients, it works for the team that you're building, partnerships, all the things. And so if you know, I'm not necessarily working with my perfect people. I'm definitely not attracting my perfect people, right? Oh, here's what I wanted to share. Um, and I talked to you all about mindset so much. I was watching a guy telling his story. This is another, I look at a lot of um, documentaries and uh places where people are talking about their entrepreneurial journey and how they reach success and where they started all of the things. And one of the things the guy said that really spoke to my heart, he said he was working a sales job and he was constantly hearing no all the time. He was constantly hearing that people didn't have enough money, all the things. That begins to create this thing inside your subconscious programming. If you are not careful, you will think that no one has money, no one can afford it, and you'll just want to trash everything that you're doing because it does begin to create this thing in your mind. And so when you are not marketing to your perfect people, when you are not getting on sales calls with your perfect people, it can eventually cause you to believe that what you're offering has no value when in actuality, you're just not speaking to the right people. If that's you and you know that working with your perfect people is important in this stage, you want to convert more clients, you want your marketing to speak directly to them, you want 
to um, make your marketing more efficient, you know, where you are minimizing your marketing efforts and you want to make more money faster because the quicker you speak to your perfect people and they identify the value that you have, the quicker they convert into clients and customers, especially in this internet space. But this works across the board. If you're brick and mortar, if you're out in the mall, would it, however, you're in a networking event, all of those things, identifying your perfect people is a complete, complete game changer. I will put the link in the comments to those spaces that are open. Again, they are first come, first serve. You'll work with me um, over a total of 14 days. Um, some of that coaching is digital, so it's not like you're meeting with me live for 14 days, but there is a live component that we do as well. Um, you will get the framework, answer questions, all those things and I will help you identify who your perfect people are. That's my take. Listen, if you're not working with your perfect people, you have no idea how amazing it feels. It's simply amazing. It's fulfilling. Um, there's a, a level of, of certainty when you're marketing and you're sharing and when you're providing a service to them, uh, when you're coaching them, whatever space of being a service provider you are, there's a level of certainty, right? Because you know, like I know my perfect people. I know what they need, right? And then there's another level where you're speaking to your perfect people that you know already. But I say all that to say, identifying your perfect people will cause major shifts in your business when you are throwing spaghetti on the wall and hoping that something catches. It's, it's no way to like build solidarity in your business and have like a really strong foundation. I'd love to support you in that process. Um, sign up for one of the three spots for the Perfect People Framework session. Um, success, I wish to you all and peace and abundance.